Hello again. In this second tutorial, we will add PHP to the environment pack in Windows, and we will add the Symfony plugin to PHP Start and install Symfony. So if you know all of this, you can go to this next tutorial where we will install Postgres standard. So we need uh, first uh, to install the, the server. So you can either download WAMP server, you go to you click here and then you click here and also you can use exam so you choose which version you want which PHP version will come with exam and you download it and you install it so if you work if you are working with uh, one server you need to go to this folder here you need to put your project here in the www folder and if you want to know which version you have uh, with php you go to the bin folder php and you have and you can see here the versions php versions that we have if you are working with the exam you need to go to exam and the folder ht docs and you put your folders there well i don't have exam so that's it so let's uh, add php we need to add uh, php to our windows because if you type here php it, it is not recognized as an internal command so we need to add this php so that we can work with symphony and start and launch commands to control symphony so in order to add this after installing one or example you go to if you are working with the the one you need to go to this folder and then bin, then go to this directory and choose which version you are working with go there and you need to copy this path if you are working with uh, with exam you go to exam and then you go to the PHP folder yeah you just copy this so after that you need to go to the edit the system environment variables and then you go here and you choose this path you click edit you click new and you add the path of php depends on which version you have selected and you click ok you close this you reopen it again here if you type php example, version we have the version so it is a known command now for windows so we installed the server we added php to our environment now you need to here we have php store you download php store you can have a trial for 30 days and you install it after installing php store we could here, click here create a new project but uh, if it's uh, the first time you install PHP store you won't find this symphony you need to install a plugin so you can see this and you will create a symphony project from there so we click cancel go to configure settings you type plugins you click here and type symphony and you install you will find a, a green box here and you click uh, you click install and uh, it will install it for you after that you will start php store and that's it after installing you will find this symphony this is a symphony plugin that will help you better develop symphony and also to 
uh, install Symfony via PHP store. So we need to set this set this to one sixty four WW folder and you can name your project here. I put GWT Symfony. And then you choose which version, for example, 3.1, and that's it. And then you click Create. It will download Symfony for you and install it. If you have an error here, if you are using one server, you probably will have an error here. It says curve error. So I'm gonna put a link in the description below in the video. It's a YouTube video that shows how to resolve that problem. And after downloading Symfony and extracting the project, we will find the Symfony structure. And after a while, we will get our fresh project here. It's a Symfony 3.1 version. So uh, that's it. We will uh, work with this project. We will add our bundles in this project. In the next tutorial, we will install Postrest and configure it, and how to use it and create a, an API REST to uh, to return our entities. So that's it. See you in the next tutorial.